Hello, and welcome to Linux Server Training 101. My name's Don Crawley. I'm from soundtraining.net. We're the Seattle, Washington-based publisher of learning resources and provider of accelerated training for IT professionals. This time, we're doing installing and configuring PHP MyAdmin. And it's based on my book, The Accidental Administrator, Linux Server Step-by-Step -Step Configuration Guide. The book is certainly not required to follow along, but if you'd like to get a copy, it's available at Amazon.com and other online resellers. Software versions that we're working with, CentOS version 6, Apache 2, MySQL 5.1, and PHP 5.5. The procedures that I'm going to show you may work with other versions, but they haven't been tested, um, so you can try them, and, and they will probably be helpful, but uh, you may have to make some minor adjustments. What is PHP MyAdmin? Well, from the PHP MyAdmin website, it is a free software tool written in PHP intended to handle the administration of MySQL over the World Wide Web. Supports a wide range of operations with MySQL and uh, frankly it's the most frequently used operations. I think you'll find as a, a uh, system administrator that you can do pretty much everything you need to through PHP MyAdmin and it's a lot easier than trying to do it through the command line interface. Here's the network diagram that we're going to be using. You'll need a workstation with the IP address of 192.168.101.2. A CentOS 6x server, the one I'm using, runs 6.4, but any version of uh, 6 should work, with an IP address of 192.168.101.3. You can use different addresses, but obviously you'll need to modify the uh, commands uh, accordingly. One other thing, you'll need access to the public internet because that's how we'll be installing PHP MyAdmin. And you can either do it directly or through a router, as I've indicated in this diagram. So here are the prerequisites. A computer running the Linux-based operating systems, such as CentOS, I'm using 6.4. It will need to have Apache, MySQL, and PHP installed. You'll need root access and an IP address of 192.168.101.3. And you'll also need public internet access. You'll also need a management workstation with an IP address of 192.168.101.2. Steps to install PHP MyAdmin, uh, it's pretty simple. You'll install the RPM Forge repository. You'll install PHP MyAdmin, configure it, and then restart HTTPD, and you'll be up and running. Here's your disclaimer. This video is provided solely as a courtesy to you, our viewer. There are no guarantees whatsoever. Please do not attempt these procedures on a production server without first testing them for security and suitability in a lab environment. Performing these procedures may open your server to possible attacks, so make sure you have current backups and take precautions including data encryption and additional access controls to protect sensitive data. Just generally good advice, right? So let's do the demo. Now, the first thing we need to do is just get a couple of pieces of information to make sure that we're installing the right version. So we need to check our version of CentOS with the following command. You can use cat or less, either one works, slash etsy slash red hat dash release. And that'll tell you the version that you're running. In this case, as you can see, I'm running CentOS release dot six dot four. You may see red hat or whatever you're running, but you just need to know that. Now you need to uh, check your system's architecture with the following command, uname minus r. And as you can see, I'm running the 32-bit um, operating system. I know that because it says i686. If I were running a 64-bit operating system, then it would say something like um, x86 underscore 64. So either way, um, now you know. And uh, now we can determine what the proper RPM package is to download. Now we're going to go to RPM... Forge, but it's no longer called RPM Forge. It's now called Repo Forge, and that's the new version of RPM Forge if you're familiar with the old way of doing it. And frankly, the new way is a whole lot easier. So we're going to go to the website. I've already got it up on a browser. Here it is, and we're going to choose the appropriate package for our architecture. So as you'll recall, I'm running a 32 bit architecture, so I'm going to go over and choose uh, under version 6 because I'm running CentOS 6.4. So I'm going to right-click on I686 under the EL6 line, and I'll choose Copy Shortcut. Now I'm going to go back to my uh, command line window, and I'm going to use the command RPM minus UVH, and then I'm going to paste that shortcut in here. I could type it, but if I tried to type that long a line, we'd be here for a week because I'd fat finger it so many times. So we'll go ahead and hit Enter. And it's whirring. Retrieving the package. 
and now it's preparing it, installing it, and we're done. That's pretty easy, especially if you remember the old way of doing it. Now all we have to do is install PHP my admin with the command yum install PHP my admin. And again, it whirs for a moment, contacts the mirrors, resolves any dependencies. In this case, there aren't any. Confirms that we want to do the installation, and yes, we do. So we'll say yes. Downloads the packages, tests them, throws off a couple of warnings, but that's because we're using the repo forge, which is outside of the normal the defaults. And now it's doing the installation. And this process will vary depending on your processor speed, memory, and internet connections, that sort of thing. Almost done. And it's verifying it. And now we're done. And now we've got PHP MyAdmin installed. Now, um, we still have to go in and make a couple of configuration changes. So the first one we need to do is we need to allow our workstation to access PHP MyAdmin. So let's go modify that particular file. I'm going to use the VI text editor. You can use Pico or Nano or Emacs, whatever you prefer. Um, but I, I like VI, so we'll do VI Etsy. HTTPD conf.d and then php my admin dot conf. That's the configuration file. And if you look there, you can see that right now it only allows connections from the local host. So we want to allow our connections from our management workstation. So we're going to use the arrow key to go down there. And again, arrow key to go over. We'll type i for insert and we'll put in the IP address of the management workstation, which is in our case, 192.168.101.2. And now we'll touch the escape key to get out of insert mode. Do a colon WQ for right quit. That's save and exit. Now that's done. And we need to also modify another file to change how we do authentication. So we're going to modify a file called config.inc.php under the PHP my admin directory. So again, VI. USR share PHP my admin config.inc.php. Oops, missing a G there. And we're going to use the arrow key to go down under authentication. See where it says authentication type cookie? We need to change that to HTTP. So we'll use the arrow key to go over. And I'm going to use the command CW for change word, and we'll type in HTTP, touch escape, and then colon WQ for right quit. And now we'll restart the HTTP server. So service, HTTPD, restart. It's going to whir for a moment, stopping HTTPD. That's the Apache web server, of course. Like I mentioned in another video, I always feel like a baseball play-by-play -play announcer because there's these long pauses while nothing happens. And it restarts it. Has a complaint about the fully qualified domain name, but that's because uh, of DNS. That really is not an issue related to what we're doing here. So we've got that going. Now let's go back to our browser. You'll notice that it's still on RPM Forge, but let's go up to the address bar and we're going to type in 192.168.101.3. That's our web server and we're going to type in PHP my admin. It's asking us for our username, in this case root and the password. And there it is. Now we can go in and modify the database. Now you may be concerned about the use of root and that's a very legitimate thing to be concerned about. You may want to set up another username, and you can do that within PHP My Admin. But I also want to mention that, as you'll recall, we did restrict access to PHP My Admin to this one particular address. So that helps uh, secure it. But like I say, you may want to go in um, under usernames and uh, uh, under privileges, actually, is where you do that, and modify, uh, add a new user and uh, somebody other than root.
So, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. I hope it's been helpful. Uh, if you'd like more information, you can visit our website at www.soundtraining.net. I have these actual procedures in a blog post at soundtraining.net slash blog. You can like us on Facebook, follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Google+. And if you'd like more videos, they're available on our video channel at www.soundtraining.net slash videos. We try to add at least one a week. Sometimes it's more, occasionally less. And the companion book, The Accidental Administrator, Linux Server Step-by-Step -Step Configuration Guide, is available at our bookstore at www.soundtraining.net slash bookstore. Like I said, I hope it's been helpful for you. Um, for soundtraining.net, I'm Don Crawley. I'll see you next time.